The Elephant Cafe in Livingstone, Zambia opened its doors in 2016 in order to create a way to sustain these beautiful, majestic rescue elephants that they house here. Since then, the Elephant Cafe has been voted the number one restaurant in Zambia. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Yeah. Today, me and Uma are at a place called the Elephant Cafe here just outside of Livingstone, Zambia. It is um, an absolutely stunning place. It's We just drove in and it's already blowing my mind. Elephants are wonderful. Aren't they? First time I'm seeing. First time I'm in seeing African elephant. I already saw in uh, Masai Mara National Park in Kenya, but not proper way. Very long ah, shot. But really? It is very near. Just 20 feet, 10 feet. This is up close and personal. We're going to learn about the place, learn about the history, and we're going to share it all with you guys. And thanks to Elephant Kef. Yes, massive thank you to Elephant Cafe for inviting us here. Thank you. Hi, good afternoon. Welcome to the Elephant Cafe. My name is Africa. You are welcome. We've got some lovely giants that you're going to meet uh, just now. First, we are going to sanitize. Very important. Yeah. <laughs> it always feels good to wash your hands. Yes. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> All right, ready. Ready. Your turn. Okay. These are the two you are going to interact with. Okay. Now, when you approach the elephants, approach them from the front. Do not go behind the elephants where they cannot see you. Stand by the side when you feed them. Um, because the elephants you are going to meet, they have big tusks. So if you feed them standing in front, when they lower the head down, the tusks might drop straight on your head and it's very, very heavy. Do not kneel down or bend down when you're close to the elephants because once you shorten yourself, elephants they think it's time to play. So they play by kicking, pushing. So I do not want you to be kicked off by the elephants. This is intimidating for sure. Yeah. yeah. Here? Little scared, right? A little bit. Little yeah. bit scared. They're huge! Yeah, that's what. <laughs> he wants quick. What's he doing? Immediate. Yeah, he does. Qu and he's coming closer and closer. Now, Petrina is going to put hand on inside yeah. elephant. Oh my god. Trunk up, trunk up. Yeah. Oh, he knows. Listen. Yeah. Yes. He understood yeah. English. Yeah. Okay. He understood. Yeah. Here. Trunk up. Trunk up. Good. <laughs> Good job. Crazy. Trunk up. Good job. Oh. What are you are doing? Okay. Put your hand inside. Okay, okay, okay. Put your hand inside. Ah, good. You did great job. He's like, do it like this. Yes. <laughs> this is better. This is better. He's happy. Happy like this. Do you want to, Uma, you're going to put it in his mouth? I will do. I will do. You are so cool. 50 years old. 50 years old. Yes. Our brother. Wow. Our brother. You're older than us? Yes. Hey! Yeah, that's part. <laughs> I will go more. Thank you. Thank you. Stuck in here, Danny. He just hoovers a bag so that's fast. That's Finish. Like a vacuum. Quick, quick. She wants. She wants quick, quick. <laughs> have another bag, please. It's funny. He knows you have the bag too, hey? Yeah, he knows. So that's he's awesome. like going over to you. He's like, bring it back here. This is, this is one of the coolest experiences of my life. Yes. 100%. This is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> See, I'm near Tusk. Yeah. Sorry, trunk. This is Tusk, right? Tusk. Tusk. This oh. is the trunk. Oh, beautiful it is. You finished it. You finished it. He's above 50. Above 50. 60 maybe? Yeah, around there. Around the 60, okay. Yeah. Uh. Danny, what are you doing? I used to go to that one. Not change up, not Randy. But in that case, I think that's better than that. Confirm, ga. Are you his handler? Yes. Yeah. So he knows you very well. A friend. How old is Danny? Uh, he's over fifty-five. Wow, Danny's over fifty-five years old. Yeah. Wow. Fifty and fifty-five. Danny, trunk up, trunk up, trunk up. Wow! <laughs> he almost got my arm, that's awesome. But Madinda did very well. When you he say trunk so up, well. very well. Completely. Huh? Yeah. 
but he did well too. He just has a bigger mouth. Yeah, <laughs> the bigger one. You know, it's crazy because you can, they use the end of their trunk like this, like yeah. a hand. I and touch you. Grabs your hand, yes. yeah, or grabs your arm. Oh. What is that? Are you farting? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <the> gas? <laughs> gas. Gas problem. <laughs> Danny, you're really dirty though. Just to stand still. I don't need knocking dirt on me. Uh, all right. <laughs> it's part of the experience. True, yeah, a little bit of elephant dirt. <laughs> yeah, I can't. <laughs> okay, give us another pose. You can like feel. See, see, do a pose. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> cool. That is so cool. Yes. In there, Danny. Want to try? Would you like to try? I'll try. Hey, Danny. Thank you. Next up. As soon as the treats were finished, the elephants literally turned around and were like, okay, I'm out of here. I'm going to go eat some grass. We were told that the elephants basically eat all day long. And as you can see, they are a very large animal. So I could see they must have a very large appetite. But they are so gentle and they're just so beautiful interacting with them was such a treat. When training the elephants, it is all done on a reward basis, so there is no forcing, there is no cruelty, it is just a gentle training where the elephants know that when they obey the command, they get a reward. In the river behind me, they do get hippos, they get crocodiles, they get all the wildlife here. It is amazing and there's a couple options if you want to visit the Elephant Cafe. You can either come by road or come by boat. And to be honest, I would love to come by boat. I just think that would be amazing, but what a classy way to make an entrance. Show up on the boat, go to the Elephant Cafe, feed some elephants. What a day, that is... That is a date right there. If you're looking for date ideas, I think you just found it. The name of this building is the Elephant Boma because it is shaped like an elephant. So this is his ear. That's the ear. That's the his other trunk. ear. The trunk. And the other ear on the other side there. Very cool. Yeah. And this is the main building, guys. This is where the bathroom is, the bar. And they even have group parties in there. Weddings. Weddings. Meetings. Events. Yeah, they can all. And this side is just the cafe. Yep. So the restaurant is covered like this because they get monkeys and baboons that will come and destroy the place and have a party in here. So they keep everything closed to yep. keep it all protected. Sure. Wow, check out that view. Yes. This would be the table. Love, love with you and, uh... I would want to sit right there. You should know if you visit Livingstone, you definitely should check out the Elephant Cafe because since 2016, it was voted the number one restaurant in Zambia. So you would be in for a very very special treat and I know I would love to come here when it's open because it's just amazing and I just want to come back because I love it. Completely new experience, so wonderful. Amazing. Lifetime experience. We can't do every place everywhere. Yeah, totally. We touch the trunk, we yeah. touch the tusk. Huh? You need to feed them. First first minute I scared. Yeah. Every time we scare with animals. First time we feel suddenly it's uh, trunk came to my face. Yeah. Really good experience. Amazing. After we used to, yeah, like like a friends. Yeah, it's after so true. Uh, both we, we become friends. Yeah, well, thank you. Look at how beautiful this is. It's so big. It's so open. There is so much space. I feel like it probably drastically changes when it's open and actually set up, as most places do. And I would absolutely love to see it like that. Right now, I'm just using my imagination, but it's not hard to imagine beautiful things when you're in a beautiful place like this. That is amazing. Look at that view. Just a couple of elephants grazing. Yeah. How have you been sustaining the animals? Because you really rely on revenue from guests coming here. Oh, has it been difficult? Yeah, for sure it has been uh, very, very difficult, but uh, we're very, very fortunate because we uh, received a lot of support from all over the world. who were trying to help us to sustain the elephants, the whole of 2020, because it was very, very quiet without any guests. So we received so many uh, support from all over the world. Also, some locals were giving us a lot of food from their place this is branches, grass, with helping us to sustain the elephants. So, because what we get from our guests help us to look after the elephants. So, because of the support that we were getting, donors were trying to help out to look after the elephants. So, it was uh, very, very good. We are so happy to have those people who come and 
help us to look after the elephants because without their hand it would be very difficult for us to look after our lovely giants that's so true yeah amazing well guys i am going to drop the link below because maybe you're in africa maybe you're in zambia and you want to visit right now or maybe in the future you're planning on coming to africa as everything opens up again so i'm just going to drop the link below and you can learn more about the elephant cafe I'm really surprised they didn't finish all their treats. It's like he just didn't want to pick it up off the ground. He's like, if you're not going to put it in my trunk, I'm going to go eat some grass. Okay, this is your typical Africa scene. There's the biggest ant hill I've ever seen in my life with elephants in the background over there. Only in Africa. This is so, so amazing. But this is definitely the biggest ant hill I've ever seen in my life. I see zero ants in it. I don't even know if they live in there, but I'm sure deep down inside they must be in there. But that is like an ant mansion. That was like one of the most ex amazing experiences of my life. Yes. Don't you agree? Really wonderful experience. Yes. We touched the everything. Touch the trunks. Yeah, everything. There's nothing, not one bad thing to say about this experience. This beautiful. I'll never forget. So. Must. If anyone come to Zambia, don't forget to visit Elephant Cave in Livingstone. Yes. Please, guys. Wonderful. And you can have food also, breakfast, lunch, dinner, everything you can have here. There is a something price, it's there, maybe something $200 like that. You can, guys, have, enjoy, have fun. Huh? Yeah. And there is a boat ride also already. Petrina told that everything, the all information, but not right now. Later. Oh, right. Yeah, I forgot you can't Better. Take a boat we right give now. the We give the link in description. Yeah. You can check all. Yep. Better? And yes, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your support. Yes, thank you. Yes. Love you all. Yes, lots of love. <laughs> thank you guys so much. It was so amazing. Thanks for sharing your home with us. Bye guys.